And we can do that partly by just being unafraid and taking a chance. For some of you, this is nostalgia. For some of you, it's probably that old stuff that your mom and dad watched. Little game of chicken here. And if you notice, he's stuck there. He accidentally got his foot caught. He cannot get off that tractor. He has no choice but forward. He's going to crash or he's going to have victory. That sort of boldness is what you want to bring to Firecon. Take those chances. And I put that clip together because of a ch game I call Firecon Chicken. So I want to talk about a couple of presentations that I have made at Firecon and where they came from and how I just didn't hesitate to do it. Just build the, con build the presentation, teach it, trust that I can put together great content and the students will appreciate it. The second of these is the one we're teaching right now. We'll talk about how we got into that one. But the first one is more amusing. The Firecon organizers, Jenna Etaw, the schedule mistress and chief programmer, and Don Ray, the networking nexus and the other big organizer, they wanted me to help test their registration system. Uh, this was three years back, I believe. Wanted me to help put in some classes just to help test the system. And I wanted to test something that would be Besides just testing class, I wanted to do a workshop. Workshops are longer sessions with lots of exercise for the students. And so just as a test, I put in a class called You Know My Methods, Writing Classic Mysteries. And I wrote a description of uh, what, what such a class would look like and so on. And put it in and tested their system and everybody was happy. And that was sometime in late May or early June. Came time for FireCon coming up, and this would have been probably late September, maybe middle September, and they started showing me my schedule. You know my methods was on the schedule because they had forgotten to clean out the test data before opening up for submissions. So this class I never intended to teach was on my schedule, and I pointed that out, and Jenna said, oh, we can remove that. I said, no, I'll teach it. I'll just teach that class. If, if, if I put it in, I'm going to teach it because I had boldness and confidence, which we'll talk about as important traits here. Now, that has been so successful that I have now taught it at FireCon twice and taught a sequel called The Heat Is On for Advanced Mysteries at the, Fire, at the FireCon two years ago. So... I had boldness, I had an idea, I ran with it. The one of us presentation that you're seeing now came from a discussion of how do we encourage presenters to stretch, to give the content we know they can do if they just give themselves a chance to get on that tractor and just charge down that road and don't worry about crashing, just do it. And I said, well, it really sounds like what you need is a class on how to teach at FireCon. And they said, yeah, give us that. So here we are. So the lesson from this is a great presentation is not an accident. Uh, or is it? Well, both of these were kind of accidents. Okay, the ideas were accident. The classes were planned. The classes were intentional. 